Having a cool design is one thing, but hand-painted textures with a software like Substance Painter can really take things to the next level. But paying for and learning another program can be a huge pain when you're already busy and tight on money. Texture painting in Blender is way simpler than people realize, and the results can actually be quite good. Setup is a little bit wonky, but once you get the hang of it, you'll have tons of fun. Here's what to do. Before you start, make sure that you're in cycles and that the object you're UV painting is UV unwrapped. Cabinet edit mode, press Ctrl A to select all, and UV smart project. Now let's make a simple base texture using a tileable grime image that I downloaded. Use Node Wrangler to create the coordinates, set to generated, change to box project, add a color ramp, increase the blend, and adjust the white and black values until you're happy. You can use the noise texture node with color ramps and the native settings to create procedural roughness and bump textures. Just make sure to add a bump node like this. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now let's add some crevice dirt. Add an ambient inclusion node, a color ramp, a mixed color, Plug your original diffuse into the top, play with the color ramp until you find something that you like. Okay, our base texture is done. Now time to set up texture painting. Add a mix shader and move it up. Add a principled BSDF, this will be our mud. To make this simple, let's just make it an orange red color with a high roughness, but feel free to build out a mud texture here using images or something that you downloaded. Now we need to make our texture painting image. Let's add a new image here. I usually set it to 4K. Press Control T with Node Wrangler enabled. Make sure it's set to UV. Now we're going to plug that mud map into the mix shader and add an invert node to make it go away. If you want your mud to have some dimension, plug in a displacement node here and here. Now it's time for the fun part. Go over to texture painting mode. You can see our mud mask right up here and make whatever mud splatters and interesting shapes you want. You can even add a textured brush alpha and get all kinds of results. This even works for scratches, layers of paint, and just about anything. The possibilities are endless. Check out the final result. It's super fun and it takes your models to the next level. If you'd like to learn more about how I make original sci-fi designs like this in Blender, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.